And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Podcast. I am your host, Super Kami Will, and I'm joined today by my esteemed intern? Mac Daddy Gene. <laughs> Working his way up. Working that way corporate up. ladder. <laughs> so today, uh, we're going to talk about something that we are experts in, you could almost say. Uh, we watched the latest Gigguk video, who's another YouTuber, and we watched him do the video on gotcha games. And I don't know about Eugene, I watched that going, you just gotten in these games. How could you tell? How could you tell what it's like for us people who've been on the battlefronts for years? And I was like, well, I want to put my own two cents in this. What do you think? I gotta say, I watched it, and I was like, he pretty much got it down. For someone who played for like a month, he kind of, but he... He got in a little too hard. Like, we'll talk more about it, but I feel like he... Everything for him just went way too quickly. Like, in a month, what took him a month to get him get him where he is took me, like, at least a year. Yeah. So that's the only thing. It took but me, like, think, a year and a half. But I think it kind of... He kind of encapsulated the whole gotcha thing. Like, we're going to elaborate more on it, but I think he did a pretty good job for someone who only started, like, a month ago. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, actually. Like, I, I, I was sitting there laughing. Like, when he was showing himself doing the videos and what it's like, I was like, that's the feeling. Especially when he pulled the card he got and he said to himself, well, I'm going to pull more then because my luck is so high. I'm like, I've done that so many times. Yeah. You never know when to quit. If I yeah. pull something amazing, I'm like, well, now I have to keep going, right? That's like, that's, that's well, I'll, I'll keep feeling better. You got to <laughs> ride the high. <laughs> yeah. Quick, though, kudos on him for going all out for Astolfo. I respect that. I don't watch Face Say, so can't speak on that. You don't, have to, you, don't, you don't have to watch that show. I didn't watch that show either. You don't have to watch it to know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we just thought out how we both got into gotcha games. Gene, how long have we been playing? You were a little bit more than me, but like, how long did you think? So we started off with Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle for the global version, which is here in America, and, well, global is basically anywhere outside of Japan. Since they're about to hit their fifth year anniversary, which means we started playing Dokkan in 2015, I believe, when the game released. Because I was there at the beginning, and so was Will, by, like, a couple weeks after that. Yeah. But that actually wasn't my start at Gacha Games. Really? I started earlier than that. I started with a little game called Spirit Stones. And it was um, it was basically like Dokkan in the sense of you got to match orbs and link them all together. and But this one had, you know, cute anime waifus. So I was digging it and I was playing it. But I was that was back when I was in I, I, I was I was in high school. So. I didn't have a job or anything or whatever, so I couldn't buy any stones. But for Christmas, I got an iTunes card, and I was like, okay, I'll buy... Um, I forgot what it was. I think the currency back then was gems. And I bought gems, and that game was always bad to me. I'll give it that. It always fucked me in terms of summon. So I didn't get to... I think I only did that one purchase, and that was it for me. You were playing this back in high school? Yeah. I can't believe you were paying to play back in high school, and you even let me know. I feel so betrayed right now. I didn't know it was a conversation we had to have. I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> and I guess now I can be like, do I ever know you? Did I ever know you? Man was buying waifus in high school? Jesus. <laughs> so my first game was Dokkan. I remember you came over to my house one day, and you were, like, leaving, and you started playing it while we were walking, and I'm like, what's that? Is that how it happened? I don't remember that at all. Yeah. We were walking, and then I said, remember a multi outside my house because you were trying to pull Bardock? Holy shit. That's some yeah. fucking memory from five <laughs> years ago. I, it's like it's like my World War II memory. It led me down this dark path. But uh, so since then, uh, we both delved way further into this world than maybe what was what we, what could be considered healthy. Oh. <laughs> How many gotcha games have we played in those five years? Okay, so not considering my first gotcha game, which is actually closed down now because they weren't doing so well. We've played 
After that came One Piece Treasure Cruise, which we were playing a good amount of time. Um, Will got stuck at... <laughs> he got stuck in one boss and just dropped the game. <laughs> we'll, talk more, we'll, we'll talk more about that game in specific later. Um, I think next would have had to been um, the Naruto one, right? Maybe Blazing. Oh, no, 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 no. Bleach came before Naruto. Yeah. yeah. And the, the, um, Bleach Brave Souls, then we had the Naruto game um then after that we went (laughs) we went to comic-con or anime nyc and there was this game that they were advertising and we were waiting for it to come out Uh, do you you remember the name phantom of the kill oh yeah we waited like two years for that game to come out and then it closed the like they shut the servers off maybe within three months (laughs) yeah yeah so we we played it and I gotta say, it was it was a pretty good looking game. But the all, what I want from a phone game is something I can go in and out of real quick. Like, hey, you know, five minutes in and out. But that you had to like stay and really strategize. Like, it tried to be a console tactical game. So I think that's what really fucking killed it. And none of the characters are really all that appealing. So that <laughs> game, I didn't, I didn't try. Yeah, it nowadays all. I feel like you have to, at least for anime ones, you have to start the gotcha game out almost with a partnership with some kind of established franchise. Like you need one or two like known anime characters in your game for people to pull on no one wants to start out a game like i'm gonna pull on random no one wants to pay for that and then after phantom of the kill i think that's when that's when i think there was a big boom in um gotcha games but in terms of just us i think after that was just legends and then we kind of stopped after that. oh no 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 no. oh i forgot about the pokemon one too go no, no, no. no. What, what, Masters? Is Pokemon Go considered a gotcha? No, because you don't like you can pay for cosmetics, but not really for you don't you don't pay for like a chance to pull a rare okay. Pokemon. But yeah, Pokemon Masters and Pokemon Shuffle. I never played Pokemon Masters. Really? It's actually no. really good. Well, I heard it's like a dead, dead game. Oh yeah, it's hundred percent dead. But All it's right, like so, it's like a whatever time waster. I have played so <laughs> so many gotcha games since then that i may i, I mean maybe 20 <laughs> yeah maybe, maybe you felt maybe, maybe you felt 20. a little harder than me so i played the um the dungeon show the hestia dungeon show memories oh, or something right i played that quite a bit actually i was doing pretty well in that game but after a while a while it was just i couldn't i couldn't stay interested in the game they were having cool partnerships with other like shows, like Attack on Titan stuff. I just couldn't get into it. I started playing the Fate Go game, which is, I think, the one Giger had. But I'm just not that far into the franchise yet for it to have kept my attention. Mm-hmm. I played the Gundam phone game. And I just didn't like the way that gameplay worked. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I, oh, I, pl- I played a bunch of American gotcha games. Like what? Uh, Raid Shadow Sam- Legends? <laughs> no. <laughs> but if they want to sponsor us, I'll try it for them. <laughs> I played the Transformers one. Mm-hmm. I played um, the Ruby one. That was uh, a gotcha game? Yeah, you could like... Uh, summon characters that the whole game thing was i'm um, summoning characters right characters it was a gotcha game that one that one definitely has to be dead yeah oh uh, no actually it's still i mean it, i think it's one of the things where it has a hardcore community but i don't know if they're um i don't know if anyone's like spending like a lot of money i don't know but then the ruby fandom is pretty they're pretty dedicated to that show and uh the one i the one i mainly play that i still play that's like the only American one is WWE Supercard. Okay. Yeah, that's my favorite. All the other American Gotcha games, I st- I had to stop playing because it became too much. You have to buy, like you have to you have to be a play to pay to win character. You can't just like just grind. When WWE, I've been able to grind and still be in like the top brackets of like rarities of cards you can get. Well, and, I never really got into gotcha games because for me, I I don't I don't consider them game games. Like I consider them for the fact of what they are, like phone games. Like just like, 
hey, you know, hop in, hop out. And at one point, I think I had like three or four gotcha games going on at one time. And it just seemed, it was, at that point, it was just a hassle. Like, oh, I got to do this. And after I leave this, I got to go into this one. And then, like, when it gets close to the reset time for the next day to do daily missions, you got to be like, shit, did I do this already or not? And you have to go check everything. It just became a hassle and a headache. So yeah, I think it, I'm just good of just two games. It's become really time consuming. I mean, there was a time, especially with One Piece, where you're just spending, like, three hours a day grinding games. <laughs> Like, it was like, okay. And then I had to be like, in some games, I just I just couldn't care less about the daily achievements. Mm-hmm. I like So I have a lot of games where I'll have like a, three games that I'll like actively play. And then like other ones that I'll come back for here and there. So One Piece well, that you mentioned, I played a lot when it first came out. I was really into it. You were too. Yeah. And then after a while, it got just so complex. Then I was just like, I, I can't get into this anymore. It, it became too... I, I The game outgrew my level of understanding of how to play it. And I'm then, sorry. Yeah, I got that is that. complete BS. Well, no, and then I got to that one point. There we go. Was, no, well, that started it. And then I stopped playing for a year. But I didn't stop collecting gems. I remember. Was, you were really faithful about that. Yeah. I think a multi is like 50 gems. And when the anniversary came around, I was at like 800. <laughs> And I pulled like all the best units. And I was like, finally, I can get back into the game. And then I was like, wait, the game has like, I, I don't know what anything does anymore. <laughs> they were like abilities, classes, and then I was just like, I, I couldn't, I didn't want to spend the time relearning how to play the game. So I gave up. Yeah, that was an easy drop. Yeah. So, what active ones do you currently play? Right now, because as everyone on this podcast should know, I'm Dragon Ball Z's biggest fan. What I only I- play. One of. I only play Dragon Ball Z, Dokkan Battle, and Dragon Ball Legends. That's all I play. And Legends, that's a dead game, right? Nope. It has a really dedicated fan base. We're on our second year anniversary, and we're doing well. And we're, you know, a getting ready for our third year. A dedicated fan base doesn't mean it's not a dead game. <laughs> I asked you if Ruby was dead, and you were like, no, they got dedicated Ruby fans. Oh, you know, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> I mean, dead, like, in the, it's me. a sense of... Is it getting a lot of new players? Um, I guess I never checked out their numbers, but I know they're doing very well, like in terms of the the um their financials. That's a couple like, of out and... different options. <laughs> that could be like a thousand people spending like ten grand a month. I don't know if people are really doing that because it's not so because the game's rates are pretty good. I don't think people. It's I don't want to yeah, say it's so... free to play friendly, but it's like pseudo free to play so i I do give you a lot of crystals yeah i should mention i was at when legends first came out i played it i played a a lot like with gene uh and he's right it is definitely a free to play game in the sense that they give you so many uh crystals to summon and i mean you're you you you're getting whoever you want in that game (laughs) (laughs) i've seen um if you watch one of our earlier videos that my man gene put out there he did a summon for the anniversary for legends definitely go check that out a little plug in there for you <laughs> <laughs> but i mean how many of the anniversary units did you pull <laughs> i think i pulled the main one which is vegeto blue which was supposed to be the hardest one with mm-hmm. a less than two percent pull rate and i think i got i pulled on i pulled the this was supposed to be those five new units I'm, I'm pretty sure I pulled three of them in yeah. that video. And so, you didn't spend anything on it, did you? No, not yet. Yeah, not yet. No, <laughs> Is it still out? Okay. So yeah, that game. But I didn't. I just was. I the story in it was so terrible. Okay, I just want to say I think the story in all of these anime ones are bad, except for One Piece, which goes through the original story. But Dokkan Metal story is shit. Legend story is. I personally think it's it's like eh because I kind of like Shallot, the original Dragon Ball Dragon Ball character. You mean not not Kaba? Yeah, he's way better than Kaba. Kaba's yeah. in the story. Kaba's Kaba's horrible. But I to say I'll say the story isn't the greatest part of Legends, but I don't think any gacha game is just like praise for their story. So unless what they're going say straight the from the anime. Part of is it the multiplayer, which everyone is always just quitting before the game ends? I think it's the gameplay. The gameplay like, you can just auto through? 
Well, the easy parts, so yeah. Like like how Breach Blade Breach Blade show Bleach, Bleach Brave, Brave Souls. Souls. <laughs> there we go. And One Piece Treasure Cruise, they all added auto mode, but that's all for like just for when you grind those easy levels. Once you get to the harder ones, then the AI is just gonna get fucking wrecked. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just couldn't get into I couldn't get into Legends. Just like you couldn't get into Bleach. Because I love Bleach. I'm a dedicated Bleach fan. Bleach is a game that I played the game before I watched the show. And I love the game so much it made me go watch the show. And I gotta say, for a game, that one is real free-to-play friendly. Completely free-to-play friendly. I hopped back in and I was able to do like maybe three or four multis in like a day. Well, you did hop back in in the anniversary. So that's... True. But also, I think Bleach Brave Souls is one of the best games in the sense that I love the gameplay. I love the characters. I actually follow the story because like, they have like these little story events that mm-hmm. are pretty fun. And also, it's the only gacha game where they play fast and loose with the canon in the sense that all the female characters are just 10 times hotter in the game. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to post photos here of what the characters look like in the show and the manga and what they look like in the game. Because everyone is rocking like triple D tits <laughs> and giant asses and to the point where it's like that, that's, that it's so out of le- it's so beyond possible for what humans could have that it's like that's not, that doesn't make sense. But you know what? I don't care. And I love that they make... So, one of the things... I, okay, so I know I'm joking about that, but one of the things I really love about it is they do advance the story beyond the show. So, oh, and the manga. So, one of the big things in Bleach is the Espada, which were these ten evil dudes. They were... Well, not, not demons. They were, like, evil dead souls, basically from hell. And they can go through these awesome transformations. And they all had cool transformations. But what the game did was, I think they got the original manga artist like the creator of the show and the manga to actually make next level forms for the game and i'll try and put some images up oh my god they look so badass i've shown you a few of them gene do you remember those yeah i think i think my favorite would have been grim jow jagger jaws yeah his new form like, they are really cool. So I really like the game is doing that. Because the show, if you're a Bleach fan, the show ended before the manga ended. So there's, like, a whole gap. And, like, in a weird way, the, sh- the game kind of became the canon because they were hiring voice actors and doing the official colors for the characters. And then the, now that the show's um, being renewed, it's rumored that the voice actors from the game are going to reprise their roles for the show. And I'm like, holy shit, like, for a gacha game, this is really... I don't. I, it's really. I don't know how it's to describe. Official it. as fuck. Yeah, it really is official. I mean, they're always having voice actors from the uh, the show like come on and do like special things with the game, like promotions. So I really like that about the game. Like the game has a lot of support from the community and more importantly from the people who worked on it, which I really love. Because other like I really can't think of another gacha game that does anything like that. And so that's made by a company called K Labs. And Gene, do we want to talk about the other game K-Labs made? Of course. How could we not? Love Live, a school idol festival. <laughs> a game I got into sarcastically. And like all gotcha games, it's kind of ruined my life. Because <laughs> now I'm a Love Live <laughs> fan. <laughs> Wait, is that what made you a fan? Yeah. I started playing the game as a joke. Because I was like, well, I'm going to play this game about these like, like high school girls singing songs. And then I was like, you know what? The music's pretty good. I'm going to try the show. And then I watched the entire show. I watched all the movies. I own CDs. I own plushies. I took Gene to the movie to see the last movie. I just want to say, I, he's had the CDs, but he's never played them. Doesn't matter. I still have them. I don't want to. I want the mint. I want the mint. Because for some weird reason, Love Life CDs are like, here's three songs and a CD. How much is the CD? Oh, it's like $90. It's insane. <laughs> Love Life merchandise is so insane. It like, it's insanely expensive. But Gene, you like the movie, admit it. It you was, like the... it was, it was, oh, what can I say? It was a fucking good movie. This is one song I fucking like. I actually have to go check back, see if it's on YouTube. I want to download it. We can, we, we need to do maybe a Love Live podcast one, because I don't want to get too much into your love of Love Live as well. Which but... Is... <laughs> It is a great game. 
Again, completely free to pay. I really like it's not more not sponsored by K Labs, but I love K Lab games. I love their games. The fact that they get me to go back and watch the show. They have, I think, a Yu Yu Hakusho game in the works that I'm gonna play when it comes out. And if it's good, Gene, I'm going back and I'm watching Yu Yu Hakusho. We watching, I guess I should say. But I love the the Love Live game. But I, I don't so I don't spend any money in these games. Mm. So we should probably talk about the big game that we're both dedicated to. So Gene, you could dedicated is not the right word. Ensnared. That's the better word I would say. Gene, what are your thoughts on Dokken? What are your okay. real thoughts on Dokken? Okay. So do you want me to just go into straight into the whale version of it? Because I can give the whole I can take it from here. Yeah, there are two versions of this game. Okay. So here's how gotcha games work. Every gotcha game may work differently and look differently, but they all do the same shit. They rinse and repeat. You'll jump into the game, and they'll be like, hey, you know, you can do... There are all these missions for you to complete, all these stories for you to complete, and look at these characters for you to summon. But don't worry, you can get those for free. You can get the currency to do these summons by playing story mode and completing these missions. Then, you know, once you play and get really far in... They start releasing new characters, but as they release new characters, you already finished grinding all your stones. So how else are you going to get stones? Bam! They want you to spend real money to get them. And that's where I got into it. So, <laughs> that, got, that got you into it? Because <laughs> basically it's a, it's a whole business model where it's a business model that also works like drug dealing. So get ready, we're about to age restrict this video. But the whole thing is, you make it easy for someone at first by getting them hooked on something, then when you make it harder for them to get it, then they're willing to do more to get it. So every gotcha game kind of gets to that point where it's like, okay, I want to summon on this to pull this new character, but hey, I've got no more story to grind, no more missions to grind, got to drop a pretty penny to get these and that's where i am with um dokkan i'm dropping pretty pennies a couple a couple times a month a few and so, um so would you also, say okay for you because let's be honest would you say for you it's worth it the amount you drop for the units you get no, because, because every month there's a new unit that's better than the last and so outclasses it. I'll say this. I don't know how much Gene spends on the game. And I don't really want to know. But I will say this. When he is showing me that he pulls every new unit, <laughs> it is so disheartening <laughs> that I'm sitting there. Because <laughs> I at one point was pay to play. And it... I got into it later than Gene, and when I got into it, I got into it way harder than Gene. <laughs> I can honestly say, Dokkan, the spending on it, was ruining my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to buy a computer, and I had to wait a year because I dropped so much on that goddamn game. <laughs> But I stop now. I've cut cold. I haven't been. I haven't spent any money in that game in like two years, maybe. I think it would have to. I mean, I think I really old. How long? I think I was only like a pay to play for like one year. Yeah, it was like one. Really yeah, bad one, year for you. one rough year. <laughs> and so, so now I don't spend any money in the game, and I'll pull units. I, I pull like good units here and there. You know, I, I pulled like. In the past couple of months, I think I pulled, like, one new, like, brand new, like, main unit. And Gene is just every banner. Oh, yeah, I pulled that. Yeah, sometimes I pull multiple of it. And I'm like... Well, 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 hold up. First of what? all, all right? I, I was pretty bad at the beginning because I would cause I was buy whenever. Now I only buy when there's a sale. And I have capped myself at, like, well, I won't say, but at yeah. a certain amount every banner. So... I, there's also a luck aspect to it because I was like, I think because in the most current banner I pulled on, I like pulled not the newest LR but the LR before that in the first multi, and I was just like, oh, fuck. And then it, it, 
like as Will said, like I was like, fuck, like I'm lucky. So then I'm going to go buy stones and pull some more. So yeah, it's like a slippery slope. <laughs> so as someone who isn't pay to play, it, so Gene beats all the events. I mean, you really do. And sometimes with relative ease. I have a lot harder time beating the events, but I will say it's doable over time. Like, I, I think I would honestly say that this game is free-to-play friendly. Yeah, because especially since if you do pull now, the new units that are on the banner, they give you, like, these little coins. So if you save it up over time, then you will you can eventually just get the unit. But you just have to, like... It'll take a while. Like, yeah. if you do one multi, you get 10 coins. But if you want to get that, that, that unit, that, you need, like, 500 coins. So yeah. that's... 50 multis. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, it is... Like, even that, like... There are, like, banners with double rates. They do a lot of free pulls. They give you a lot of stones. It's not a... It, it's doable. I'll say that. So I do like the game. And it's funny, because... So this is, like, maybe one of the most top-grossing gacha games. It really is. Like, it does it, a lot. It, it hits top-grossing with every new banner. Legend Legends has only hit top-grossing twice. Yeah. And that was for first anniversary and for second anniversary. Yeah, that and that's is almost a, like that's almost a dead game. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It, it it does make a lot, and it's funny because this is the only like I think if you put a list of the top grossing gacha games, it's the only one with like no waifus. <laughs> There's no chicks in this game. <laughs> what we've got a uh, Vados. <laughs> this game is you are pulling. I want the new Goku. That is really it. It's, this, is, this game is like, if you describe what it's like to pull in this game, it's like, I want the latest Goku. What would you think, Gene? Sometimes what? I want the newest Android 21. You've never said that. What do you mean newest? There's only been one. Yeah. Well, if there was more, then yeah. <laughs> also, this game, it's funny, because this is a game that we play a lot. And I guess we should mention, so, I got into... The paying aspect because of Gene. <laughs> no, that's not true. Because oh. when he was pay when he was paid to pay to pay to play, he didn't know I was. So he was keeping it a secret from me. So like whenever he would do something, he would always try to hide his um, stone count because, because he didn't know I was pay to play. Yeah, but I still maintain it's because of you because you were paying for months, pulling the best units and be like, eh, it's luck. I guess it's just luck. Oh, you okay. don't have that unit? Uh, just I want, luck. I, want to, I tell him again. I, when, I remember the first time I paid, and that was for Christmas, to get a Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and I have not pulled again. I have not paid again until around the time Will confess that, hey, I buy stones. Mm, sure. Sure. This game is so competitive, it's ruining our lives. <laughs> but it's definitely a fun game. Uh, so I want to talk to you about, because you said earlier on, you don't consider phone games games. I do. They're competitive tournaments for some of these games. Which one? Legends. The fucking dead game? Yeah. Okay. I didn't say they're very like, widely competitive. <laughs> I know Legends does have their thing, which they're not going to have it this year because of the whole, you know, what going on. Yeah. But other other than Legends, I don't know any other one. What is it just Legends? But I, I mean, what is a game? I mean, I could play Tetris on no, my phone. But, is Tetris not I a know, game? But I'm just saying, like, I don't consider, like, hey, I'm going to now sit here on my phone at home for hours doing this. Like I know you but don't do, you do because it? it's like no, because oh. you know like because I'll I'll you'll text me like hey did you finish this and I was like this just came out yeah I sat here and finished all of it and I was like oh okay well no. I never I like, don't say it like that <laughs> okay this okay well we'll talk about that off camera then yeah no I mean I think the thing I like about it the most is that I can sit down and play it and not fully pay attention to it which I do for other games too though. Like, I'll play games like, uh, you probably heard me talk about it in another podcast, Empire at War. It's a Star Wars computer game. Like, I can play that game on my computer and not 
fully be paying attention to it. I, I can give it the same level of attention I give a phone game. I and mean, I think there's a lot of games that you can you can give the same level of attention. Look at like uh, Japanese light novels, some strategy games like Civilization or Age of Empire. Or XCOM. I get it. But those those games I wouldn't mind playing for hours because there's either going to be a story or there's going to be like an end goal. With these phone games, there's no, like like Gig said, there's no end. Like, you're just going to keep going. So I'm like, so... What can you say for, for games me, like phone... World of Warcraft? Like I RPG never, games? I never played World of Warcraft. Oh, but you know what it's like. It's like, it's, there's no end to it. You're just always kind of grinding. It's, it's kind of like that mentality. I don't, I, I don't know if I know what you mean, because if you think of like RPGs like what, like Final Fantasy, like there is an end. No, 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 no like mostly like online, like like world, like like World of Warcraft. Like I gotta games. say, I never play those kind of games, so I, I, don't, I don't know. No, I don't either. But like it's that same kind of thing where it's like you know you play and there's no real end goal except just to get like better than you are now. Like there are those kind of games, or like card games like League of Legend. Well, that's a PvP kind of thing. It's it's kind of different from like Bleach and like like Legends. I know those have PvP, but like you said, everyone complains about it because of the crash and whatever reason. But for me, it's like okay, for a phone game, it's like okay, so I have to be I'm like on the train or on the bus. Let me bang this out. Or if I'm home, just like mindlessly, I'll bang this out. But I want to play a game. I'm not. I'm not attacking anyone who considers these a game. Because yes, they are games. But I wouldn't sit there for hours and play them. Like it's just like, like a quick session and keep moving. But they're not meant to. They're meant. They're games that aren't meant to be played for hours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I mean when I'm saying I don't really consider them game games. I know because I feel like a lot. Like a lot of aspects. You like. So like, look at a game like Call of Duty. And I uh, look at a game like. Uh... You know, uh, Legends. Both of them have a story. No one's really there for the story. They're there for, like, the multiplayer aspect. Mm -hmm. Like, in Legends, you're fighting other people. In Call of Duty, you buy that game, you play just for the multiplayer. I mean, the only difference is maybe you want to play one longer than the other one. You know what? I'm starting to agree with you. I think Legends is a game game. It's a really good (laughs) game, too. Well, you can say the same thing about, like, uh, like, for me, Bleach. Like, a Bleach, I play the story. I like the story, because in the story of Bleach, it's just the show. Like, you're just playing the manga. Or just a cop-out. No. That's not a cop-out. And then I could play other players. There's a PvP element to it. And then there's first other events. All, first of all, PvP. Let's not, let's not kid it around. <laughs> I'm just going to put your characters next to the other characters, and they just fight. So? You're not really doing anything. Can you that, auto that, PvP in Legends? That's odd. No, you can't. Oh. That's basically PvP and that's basically like calling Dokkan tournament a PvP, which is basically just you fight in the AI. Well, of no, another person's because team. the whole point of the Bleach version is that you have to build the stats in certain, like you know, some characters are good at using magic or specials, whatever you want to call it. Some you have to build things. Uh, there's a whole other element to it. Yeah, but it's, it's not like, really you playing. It's not. I don't, I don't consider that player versus player. That's just basically the computer playing. Yeah, you. but you know what I, I mean. Like, there's a, a versus aspect to it. I mean, I guess. But in League of Legends and Call of Duty, like, there's actually another person controlling the characters at the end. Well, League Legends, I'll give you that. League of Legends is not a card game. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, it's not. You're thinking of Hearthstone. League yeah, of Legends of, uses I'm characters. I'm thinking of Hearthstone. Of Hearthstone. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I just take everyone go back and look at the League of Legends thing and just put Hearthstone in there. <laughs> but I I consider them games personally. Well, uh, I I get it. Like I, I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna say they I, I, are yeah. games, but they're not. But you know what I mean. Like I'm not like I won't give yeah. them the full time. I mean, think I think like this. It, you're doing it based on longevity of the amount of time you play it. What about games that come out and you beat it in like five hours? You're like, well, I'm never touching that again. You beat it in five. You beat it in five hours because you're playing it five hours straight. Well, no, you don't have to do that. But like, um, look at Resident Evil. How long does it really take you to beat that game? 
a month. <laughs> well, that's different. We were too afraid to play it. <laughs> but I mean, you could beat it in a couple of hours. Right. Yeah. And I mean, so I get more longevity out of the phone games than I did in Resident Evil. But you know, or than Spider Man. Like, how many games really is it like, oh, you're playing that game for like months? I, I, I see mean, what you mean. I really, I really do. It's just, me personally, it's just like, if someone's just like, oh, you know, what's a good game for me to play? I'm not going to be like, oh, you should download this on your phone. Like, I would give them, like, either a PC game or a console I recommended game. Love Live to you. That's not fair. I've recommended Love Live to a lot of people. And Bleach. Anyway. <laughs> Those are, I guess, our thoughts on gotcha games. And our experiences. And how we feel about them. And Any I'll last say... Um, the anniversary is coming up. I'm 100% going to be buying stones, and um, it's going to be Will pull in maybe once or twice, and me pull in. I am saving. I'm hoping to have at least two multis. Right. I'm going to probably do like four multis. So, okay, so I, I can't wait to make that video to show my free to play stones just being wasted <laughs> on nothing <laughs> units, and Gene buying stones, and then going, oh, look, I pulled all the new units. And I'm sitting there like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so happy for you. <sighs> I mean, after all, that's like the most expensive game most of you will ever play. Most expensive game. No, I think that's the game of life. Yeah, we can cut that one short. Don't Ooh! cut it. <laughs> Age restricted, definitely. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh man! <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> you can technically call it quits on that game anytime you want. <laughs> and if you play your cards right, it could be really cheap. It's like marry someone who's really rich. Uh, anyway, it's always you. <laughs> does everyone here see what Gene and his spending on uh, Dokken does to me? But he just tears me down. <laughs> all right uh oh but quickly one last thing so we're talking about these gacha games and we're talking about how much you like them there are really bad mobile games out there that is just designed to steal money from you we should like there there are there is a flip side of that like one of the ones i know is um there's some star wars galaxy of heroes or something and it is a fucking trap hole for your money I heard it's, like, designed for you not to be able to play the game unless you spend money on it. So, like, always keep a, like, they, you know, we're talking about how we like these gotcha games. There are plenty of bad gotcha games out there. Like, really bad ones. So, always try and keep a lookout. But definitely some good ones are Bleach and Love Life's Glotta Festival. Which is another the wild story. I don't, I don't even know what the story... He showed me the story of Love Life, and he was just tapping... And it was like story over. I was like, what the fuck do you do in the story? Well, no, 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 it's, it's literally a story. There's a story aspect to it, and then you play the music. Oh, okay. Oh, I've gotten really good at that, by the way, Gene. I could do the expert missions now. Uh, you have to show me that. I can. It's, I'm getting, I got really good. One day I tried it for fun. Like, oh, I haven't done this in a while. And I was like, oh my god, I beat it. <laughs> that's, that's progress. I remember back in the days, you were ass. Yeah. Arthritis isn't touching these hands. I'm training them. <laughs> Give it a couple of years. <laughs> Alright, that'll be it for us. Gene, any last thoughts? Um, I think B-Rad will be dropping his Twitch link. Maybe. He says his video needs to get at least 20 likes. Where's we're we're All of his videos do get 20 likes. What are you talking about? Oh, 20 likes. Okay. They're going views. <laughs> it's like, he's the one pulling in the numbers. <laughs> So that's going to be all for us. Uh, thanks, everyone. And we are...